Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into this, I'm going to put the comment of the day up. If you guys want to take part in that, all you have to do is leave a comment and I randomly choose them from my new notifications. So today we are taking a look at an updated, renovated version of Sunset Valley. The creator of this or the person who renovated this popped up in my YouTube suggestions and I was so excited to take a look at this and the creator's name is Plumbob95. I will have their YouTube and also the link to this in the description down below if you guys are interested. I am pretty excited to see what the homes and things look like. I love when things are renovated to, you know, somebody else's creations and stuff. I just love when things are kind of spiced up a little bit and it's, you know, because we've had Sunset Valley forever. I'm kind of excited to see some different looking homes and things. So that's what we are going to do today. And I am just going to start out how I normally do. We're gonna see what kind of homes we can start out with. I see one currently here. And then of course we have like the empty lots and stuff for the people who love to build their own thing. Uh, that is not me. I am the worst builder in the world. So that is, that is not me. Uh, so it looks like there's that home. And then we have the home over here. So that's I think that's it uh, for starter homes so we're gonna go ahead and start with this one right here um, I kind of like the location you know right by the beach so let's take a look at the first home that we can move into this is the outside of it it looks super cute and actually looks kind of like a beachy home uh, from the outside and the inside ooh okay I really like this one I love the color of these cabinets like that blue color is so pretty uh we have a one bedroom with my favorite thing ever the laundry the laundry i don't know what it is about the laundry in the game i don't know sims 3 sims 4 the laundry stresses me out i love laundry in real life but which is weird but you know virgo things uh anyway <laughs> there's also like the little living space over here and we have like the dining area or where you know you, your sims can chill and eat and then we have the bathroom over here. So that is the first house. And honestly, I love the location right across from the, the beach. second home is this one right here. So let's go ahead and take a look inside of the second starter okay, home. I kind of love the vibe of these homes, like the way that they like the style and the, the colors. I it's what I wish I could do if I were a builder. <laughs> but I'm not. Um, so this is the one that's like the trailer lot, but it is not a trailer uh, any longer from the looks of it. It is just a regular home. And honestly, oh my gosh, I really like this one. I think I like this one better than the other one. I love the like design on the couches and stuff and the color of those. All right, the llama has been here. The Into the Future thing has dropped. Now, one thing that I'm not sure about is if you need CC for this. I'm pretty sure it's a no CC thing. I didn't watch their video yet because I didn't want to spoil like the surprise. So I'm gonna have to watch their video and kind of see what their explanations are. And you know, if you need anything special and I will leave that down in the description if you guys do. Uh, but I just didn't want to spoil like what the homes and things look like. So I was gonna watch it after I do this video. So let's go ahead and explore. Uh, I'm gonna just go right next door to our neighbor's home and already the outside is absolutely so cute. I feel like this is such like a family, a family home and I am excited to see the inside. It is the Kennedy household. So let's go ahead and open this one. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love this house so much. This is kind of like a, a dream home for my sim here. It looks like it's a one bedroom. For some reason, I thought it was more than one bedroom, but this is such a cute home. Such a cute home. Oh my goodness. And there's the little fire pit out here. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I love the style of these homes, like big time, big, big time. So one home I'm curious about, let's see, who is this? Uh, I'm curious about the Alvi home because their home was so interesting. I'm curious what that house looks like. So, oh my God, she even changed. <laughs> You even changed The Sims. This is Miss Zelda May. She is so pretty. Okay, so it looks like we also got a Sim update and I'm not seeing anything like CC wise. So I have a feeling this is going to be CC free, which is really, really, really nice. Um, But oh my goodness, we have Miss Zelda May. 
so cute. Okay, so now we have to look at The Sims too, because obviously The Sims have made over. I don't remember where the Alvies live, to be honest, um, but I don't even know where to start. I guess I should just start with our neighbors and kind of go around. So this might be a long video. If you guys need to grab a snack and grab a drink, I do not blame you. Um, Central Park, hold on. Am I going to have to cut until Monday? Are we going to have a whole different festival lot? Because I think, I think by the looks of it, we are. So we have Bessie over here and Nancy Landgrab. So we've got a couple of Sims over here. There's also a Sim over here. I'm kind of curious. We have Blair Wainwright. Okay, can we just like get it together here? Okay, so we've got Blair Wainwright here, and there's also, I think he is just a random sim. Oh, and you're in, in the tree. So you're, you're not important to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's even, oh, you guys know, you guys know how I feel when there is a cute little park and there are things for the kiddos and the toddlers to do. I love this. We also have Emma Hatch over here just chilling on the, chilling on the swing set, but oh my gosh. This is adorable. I'm gonna probably have to cut till Monday so I can see kind of what this looks like. We have some more Sims over here. We have the Bachelors. Is this another Bachelor? We have River McIrish. I can't, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Xander is looking super cute. What? <laughs> what in the world? We have Jared Frio over here. We have Molly French uh leah simmons and aaron kennedy this is who lived in the home that we were just looking at and honestly she's super cute but i cannot get over how adorable and cute he is like he's okay let's just not let's not, we're not doing that we're not doing that let's go back to what i was originally doing and i guess we're gonna check out our neighbors we'll go from here and then kind of go around Ooh, look at that one okay so let's see wait a minute Hold on, is this the, this is the Alvy house. Okay, okay, okay. Cause they had like a super interesting, wait, who's this? Who's this? Connor, Connor Frio. Okay, I'm getting super sidetracked. I'm really excited about this. Here, here is Connor Frio over here. So even our Sims have a bit of a makeover. So it's like a whole, it's a whole new world. I'm not gonna sing it, but it's like a whole new world to me. Um, and this is pretty exciting. Cause I, I love Sunset Valley. I go to it quite a bit, and honestly, I'm kind of excited to maybe make this my go-to uh, Sunset Valley, because, you know, it's updated, and I love the homes, and this one is so cute, too. So we have this little bed over here with the flames I love. That's probably BJ's, I would assume. I would assume. Uh, and here's the inside. There's stuff for the pets. There's, oh my gosh, I love these homes. It has made Sunset Valley, like, brand new. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that is the Alvi household. Now I want to go across the street to this one because this one looks very interesting. So let's take a look inside here. This one is an empty home, but I'm going to look at it anyway. Okay, we've got it together now. So here we have a bedroom up here and a kid's bedroom, which is so cute. Like, See, when I try to like redo rooms for my Sims and their kids, like this is like the what I like imagine in my head, but it doesn't it doesn't come out that way. Uh, but this is super super cute. So we have one two bedrooms, and then we have the bathroom up here, and then we go downstairs, and we have the living space, the dining area, the laundry, and also our kitchen, which is very very nice and then you can walk out oh no there's not you can walk out over here i was thinking that was the door for some reason uh, and we have this nice little deck area to sit with like a little pond in the back this is so adorable is this for this household no i think it's maybe for that household wow okay this is stunning the soccer goal was for sure for that household i was just at but we are going to move on right next door to this one which is the Sakamoto household, which guess who's probably living back here. Uh, let's go ahead and open this one. I just can't get over how gorgeous these homes look from the outside. Like these are so nice. Oh my gosh, there's a nice deck back here. Okay, let's get inside and take a look. So lights on, 
Lights off, lights on. Okay, so obviously we have a little mini house over here, which honestly, I love this so much. Like I would love to have this for like a Sim family where I have like my elder Sims and they can kind of have that area. And then, you know, the new family have this area. Oh my God, this is so cute. I can't. I can't look at this little room over here so we have like the kids space over here we have another a bedroom over here a bathroom and then like our living space and stuff but this i love this you know having you can have like your the grandparents stay here because they have their own space you know they have their own bedroom their own bathroom and then they can come over here and cook if they want and you know have time with the family this would be a really nice like generations home Okay, I'm basically just going down the street. We were all the way down there and now we are here at the bachelor household. And again, stunning from the outside. Looks like a cute family home. There is even a garden back here. And we have little Bella bachelor out here looking so thrilled to be here. She's like, please get out of my house. Like, I don't have time for you. Honestly, I'm so sorry, but I need to take a look at your house because it looks like it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Uh, let's open this one up and see what we have. Oh my gosh. I cannot get over how beautiful these homes are and just like how like family and just like, I don't know. They're just like family homes and they're beautiful and they're decorated and there's objects and it's just like it's there's no like it's not like empty okay so anyway we have one two three bedrooms we have a bathroom a bathroom uh, let's go down a floor then we have a little study area the office area another like half bath i guess with the laundry over here and a really nice kitchen then we have the dining room and the living area and of course stuff for the pets and again like i said there's a little place over here but there's also a nice garden like a very very nice garden over here love 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 i'm obviously not going to be able to look at every single home as much as i really want to uh but i am going to try to look at as many as i possibly can and also like i kind of am curious if they redid like the community lots or if it's just the homes um it looks like i think they redid yeah they redid something here right yeah they like recolored i haven't played in yeah this is for sure done over because that wasn't there right yeah 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 it's done over <laughs> what am i even saying i haven't played in yeah it for sure is okay First of all, I need to just like chill out. I'm just way too so excited. So here is the grocery store and also the bookstore. And right behind there is the fortune teller and the gypsy wagon. And then right over here, what is this? Hold on. I was looking, but I wasn't. Um, what is this? Hold on. I'm confused. Uh, it's a plaza. Okay. What is happening in here? I don't know what is happening in here, but I see a lot of activities and that is super exciting to me. There are games up here. There's Juice Pong, more games. We have Nick Alto. Oh my gosh. Nick Alto over here. Who is this? Gunther Goth. I gotta see. Oh, okay. Um, okay. All right. We are across the street from where my Sim is living. And I'm very interested in that little area over here. Nobody lives here, so let's take a look inside and see. Oh my goodness, I love this room already. I love this room. I love the little kid rooms. They're decorated so cute. And then this is like the master bedroom, which I am digging this color. And I honestly really like this like bedding and stuff. Uh, we have the bathroom and our kitchen over here the backyard area, which what is, okay. It's like a little hobby area. We have the place where we can dabble and, you know, create things. And then there's also a place to do some, I almost said laundry, but this is not laundry. Gardening? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and you can garden over here probably, or maybe not. I don't know. Um, but there's also a place here for your bees. 
So this is a cute home. And then look at over here where there's like little seating and your little lemonade and you can just sit outside and enjoy the weather. We might be here until tomorrow because I don't want to stop looking. So here is this one, which is a one bedroom. We've got the bedroom over here, the little kitchen area, the bathroom with the laundry and our dining area and then like the living space slash like your office area all right this is the outside of this one and back here we have a pool a garden and things for the kiddos to do we are definitely going to look inside this one because i am a nosy girl let's go ahead and see what we have inside can we can we there we go we've got oh my gosh <laughs> every time i i'm i'm not i shouldn't even be surprised at this point because this is so gorgeous uh but every time i'm just like i i'm just like in awe of the creators who just like do all of this i mean this person renovated all of sunset valley like i am just like i just can't okay i just can't this is so perfect uh, so this is a three bedroom, at least it looks like a three bedroom. And look at this room over here for the kiddos. And this is kind of like giving teen vibes a bit. Maybe the master bedroom here. And then we've got a couple of bathrooms. And then we go downstairs and we have our living space, the laundry, office area, a half bath over here, and then our kitchen dining, which I really, really like this. But this is our backyard as you guys can see. We have the pool and the garden area. So I had to come over and look at the crumble bottom house because, you know, we just have to. So let's open this one up and take a look inside. This one looks like more like of a modern home. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights as well so we can see. So we have a very nice bedroom over here and a very, very nice bathroom. Like, wow. Okay. Office area another bedroom and bathroom and then we go down a floor and we even have a dang grand piano down here living space i love that these homes also have stuff for the pets you know it's kind of got a little bit of everything dabbled in and i'm here for that and then of course we have the uh eric darling over here and we've got more laundry and the kitchen nice place out here in the back to grill up some food with a beautiful view of, you know, Sunset Valley. Now I am super excited for this lot right here and this lot right here because both of these homes in Sunset Valley are very, very bare. And I love the size of the homes, but I never knew what to do with them because they were just kind of bare and there was like nothing, nothing going on. And of course, of course the creator has made this into something absolutely stunning so we have the main bedroom over here and the bathroom which is absolutely beautiful this is like giving rich vibes like for sure and then we have a bedroom over here and a bedroom over here definitely killed it i love this i love 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 this see like it's 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 filled the house is filled it is feeling like sims live here even though it's an empty house but I could move into these homes like as a person who doesn't build or decorate this is a dream this is a dream world for me you know it's like sunset valley is now my dream world because everything is complete and i don't have to worry about filling the homes this kitchen and dining area is absolutely stunning i love that mirror over here out here we have the little deck and place for the kiddos to play we even have this garage area over here for some of your sims and honestly i love it so we're gonna move over to the house across over there because i want to see how this one looks too because i'm feeling like this one was the one that i i typically try to move into when i have sims money because uh, it's pretty big i think but it just never is it just it didn't it didn't look good to me and now and now look at it oh my gosh <laughs> oh this is uh, i'm playing in sunset valley soon because this is absolutely freaking beautiful i love this i love this i love this i cannot say it enough i cannot say enough how i am obsessed that this person has taken the time to totally renovate the world for all of us and make it stunning oh my gosh there's even a hot tub 
definitely have to be rich for this house, but you know, my sim will get there. What do we have out here? Ooh, we even have another like hobby area and place for the garden. And then we can come over here and practice with our clay. Yeah, yeah. I don't ever use that. Like literally never. Maybe I need to get into that. But anyway, let's see what else we can get into. The library, you guys. Even the library is all new. Let's take a look inside the library. <gasps> it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. We have Zelda May over here. We have, oh, I gotta see. I gotta see what he looks like. Okay. Okay. He looks way better than he does in regular Sunset Valley, I have to say. Uh, I need to get this to load up. We also have Victoria Andrews over here, but I'm hoping this will load up so we can look at it better. And then downstairs, there's a bunch of Sims. Connor is like everywhere. We have Agnes Crumplebottom, Pauline Wan, we have Holly, we have the barista and Styles. Let me see what Pauline is looking like. Pauline Wan is a very pretty Sim. So there's Miss Pauline Wan. There's also... Who's this? Thornton! Thornton Wolf. Okay, like he's actually an attractive sim, but now he's even more attractive. I'm not gonna lie. Like he's he's not an ugly sim at I all. I wanted to look at the beach because I saw something over here and look at what they have done to the beach. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like how cute and cozy. There are activities over here. We can come over here and play in the sprinkler or even go slip and slide. How many times are you gonna tell me about this university kit that I don't care about right now, okay? I do not care. So there's a cute little place for us to go on the beach. And let me see. I There's so much I wanna look at and I feel like I've looked at a lot, but I also, wait, what is this? The Sunrise Club. Let's see what this is all about. Cause I definitely want to go to Monday and see what happens in the festival lot because obviously it has changed so i guess i'm gonna have to wait it's not open yet it's not open till 2 p.m all right now it's open because i made it so here is the upstairs area bathroom oh there's even the photo booths this is like so nice like i cannot get over how how different like this doesn't even look like sunset valley and i'm so excited uh, the basement area. It's definitely like a CC world, but it's, but there's no CC and it's like Sunset Valley. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but the excitement I right now. I literally want to go over every single home in this world, but I, I, I just can't. I just can't. Uh, so we're going to go to this one because this one is one that I'm curious about because I like the way it looks like, you know, from the outside and there's the pool and everything. It just looks very interesting. This is one of those homes that I lived in a lot with my Sims. And again, it was like very bare and I didn't know how to fill the space properly because I'm not a builder, but they, they did that. They made this like so cute inside and a dream. It's a dream. We have one, two, three bedrooms and one, two bathrooms. And then of course we have the pool out here. Oh my gosh. I really wish I didn't start a current household because now I'm wanting to start another one just to live here. All right, next door is the Wainwright household. I wanna take a look at this one as well. Okay, so here is the inside. Let's turn on some lights here. We have like the dining room, kitchen area, office area where you can have a bird if you would like to. And of course, the place to hang the laundry, bedroom, bedroom, bathroom. And then upstairs we have, ooh, okay. Upstairs here we have like a place for your plants and stuff. And also to try to get abducted by aliens, but it will never happen because my game hates me. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, the style of these homes remind me sort of of My Sims Realty in a way and I love their world. So I think that's why I'm so obsessed with this. I can't not, I can't not look at this household. So let's look inside this house and see what it is looking like. And then I'm gonna skip until Monday and see what the festival lot looks like because I need to know, but let's see here. Okay, we gotta turn on the lights because we can't see 
a dang thing. So up here, we have like a nice little cozy area to, you know, hide from everybody. But one day, all of these things will load and you guys will actually be able to see what it looks like. All right, finally things have loaded and I am not angry anymore. <laughs> So then we have the dominoes over here. We have a place to, you know, play all the different instruments. We go down a floor and oh my goodness. Okay, we have one. We have two, three bedrooms up here. A little hobby area, bathroom, kind of a, another hobby area. Yes, yeah, like a place to play video games and watch TV. Oh my goodness goodness oh my goodness i'm literally like i want to say i'm speechless but i'm not because i keep freaking talking but i am just so stunned it's it's perfect it's so perfect to me because i love sunset valley like who else plays in sunset valley a lot like it's just you know classic this is fantastic okay we have a pool out here we have a cute area over here to come and grill in the summertime and just chill with the family. There's also over here, you know, a graveyard <laughs> of the Goths over here. Crumple Bottom. We have Simon Crumple Bottom. We have Lolita and we have Gretel Goth and Victor Goth. So this is so dang beautiful. I love this. I love the Goth household. Look at this. Wait, are these pets over here yes we got the kitty cats we've got jinx midnight and luna goth i was checking out the dang gym and here is mr layton sekimoto which he is looking super cute super cute we have yumi we have ethan bunch wait what happened to the bunches wait who are you who are you simis ba Dang, Simmons Bachelor. Okay, okay, okay. Are the bunches still ugly? I mean, are the bunches still ugly? Parker's here. Where I need where I need to find the bunch family. I need to know what they all look like. But here is the gym, which you know I was I was gonna quit, you guys. I really was gonna quit looking, but I can't. Nancy Landgrab, Dustin is like, <laughs> are you bro? holy shit like are you good like he is okay anyway um more whoa morgana oh okay 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 joe costa okay i need to find the rest of the where's lisa jamie jolina i need to know what lisa bunch looks like i really do jamie jolina okay girl where the hell is lisa bunch who is this over here tell me tell who are you hold on are you the bunches are you the bunches no, you're Boyd. Who are you? Susan. Okay, where are the bunches? Oh my goodness, you guys. I found the bunch household. Okay, I found the bunch ho household. I don't know if Lisa Bunch is here, but I need to know. Oh my god. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five bedrooms upstairs. The bathrooms. Then we go downstairs. This house is so gorgeous so dang gorgeous the kitchen area we have a play area out here i don't see lisa bunch here we do have stormy bunch here but i don't oh and we also have bear i don't see lisa bunch yet i want to know what she looks All like right, guys the festival is here so i want to take a look at the festival a lot before i wrap this up i apologize it is so long i know i should probably not make these videos super long but i just get so excited and want to look at like everything that i possibly can but we're gonna take a look at the festival before i wrap it up let's see what it looks like i love that it's also kind of like a live show venue so we have a sim over here okay let's go over here and over here we have the place to go skating and we had, i thought there was another sim but that is not a sim that is a place to barbecue <laughs> we have the hot dog eating contest and we have our little stands over here food stands and let's see is that it and then of course we have like this area over here we oh we have the um balloon fight thingy and then also a place to get your face painted i don't see i might be missing it 
but I don't. Oh, here it is. I was missing. I was gonna say, I don't see the thing where you can take a greeting card photo, but I do now. Uh, I don't see Lisa Bunch though. I wanted to see her uh, just because I was curious what her makeover looks like. Honestly, I feel like I need to see if she's home before I wrap it up because I really want to know. So of course, Miss Lisa Bunch was at school. So I went ahead and reset her and this is her. She is looking way better, new and improved Miss Lisa Bunch here, but I am going to wrap it up right here. I will have the link to the download in the description and also a link to the person who renovated this, their YouTube channel in the description as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like on the videos. It does help out my channel and push out my videos and my channel. Subscribe if you guys would like to, turn on your post notifications, all of that fun stuff. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video.